Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Um, today I'm going to separate my little bird nest uh, snake plant. So I got it over the weekend and it's so pretty. I can't stop looking at it. It is so pretty. However, when I brought it home, I realized there are some little babies are kind of just um, popping out but um, there's just barely any room for the baby to grow so I, I kind of have to um, repot it and separate the mother plant and the baby plant okay let's get started Ta -da! isn't she a beauty and look at the babies um, I just want to say that I'm no expert at propagating or transplanting or separating uh, plants. Uh, I just, I, I don't even know what I'm doing right now. I just watch some YouTube videos and um, I kind of know, I kind of know uh, where to start. So wish me luck. Here we go. Okay, I just got it out of the pot and get some of the soil out without damaging the roots. So I'm so scared of this process right now because I got a fiddle leaf fig and the second day, actually the third day I brought it home and I was thinking, oh, let me repot it because that's what everyone do on YouTube. So um, I bought a terracotta pot and I got it out of its original nursery pot and start to um, get the soil out of, separate the soil and the roots. Uh, it got to the point that there's no soil on the roots anymore it's just you can see the white roots the little white roots and it's it's fully exposed there's no soil and that means i also damaged uh, its roots a lot i probably um, got rid of a lot of the, a lot of the smaller roots so and then when i repotted it put it on this new terracotta pot i bought it's been just droopy and not happy and it's still recovering so i'm just so scared at this point i don't want to damage any of these tiny little roots okay oh this is so scary because i really don't want it to die even though um Snake plants are such hardy plants, but still, it's living. Okay, I'm gonna get a just a kitchen knife, and I'm going to cut. I don't know if you guys can see, but. baby plant and the mother plant are very closely connected. Okay, you guys can see it's a baby plant that we're trying to separate. Now you can see the roots already. Oh, this is so scary. <laughs> I'm sorry guys. I don't mean to be annoying, but oh, this really scares me. Again, what, guys, whoever is watching this, if you if you think I'm doing it wrong, or if you have an idea about how to how to divide snake plant, please comment and let me know what I did wrong, so I so I can correct it next time. Uh, and for people who are watching who are also like me so new to this whole plant world 
don't be scared because see um, I'm with you you're not alone <laughs> you're not alone it's pretty good now I'm going to make the cut right here did it! See? Baby number one! Yay! Okay. Let's go baby number two. This is baby number two. Which is a, a bigger one. I didn't really have to remove this one, but... Since they grow quite slow... But I still want to make some room. You know? For them to grow and also I got a cute little pot <laughs> I want to put the babies in okay here we go number two okay number two baby number two yes this is where I did the cut Beautiful little oh, baby. Okay, no regret. No regret. Now, should I separate these two? Or should I keep them in one pot? I mean, they look so adorable together, don't they? They look so cute. Actually, I think this pot might be too small. So I'm gonna have to put it back to its nursery pot for now because I ordered uh, a ceramic pot from Amazon and it hasn't shipped yet. So we go back here for now. These babies just went through such shock. I'm going to give it a little extra TLC by putting it closer to my window but not on my windowsill because I have a western facing window it's probably gonna scorch it so now for the small baby ones I'm going to pot them into this cute little pot I got from Marshalls it was only $5.99 I think it's so cute it says it's a uh, has a little saucer attached to it and a drainage hole down here so it's perfect it's crazy how some pots online are like 60, 70, 80 bucks oh it's unaffordable so I'm so happy I found this little guy and some other pots, the bigger ones for example like this one this hanging pots I put my strings of bananas in with strings of pearls or my lips lipstick plants it's only $7.99 as well. So it's pretty, pretty awesome. So now I'm going to um, put some potting mix, Miracle Grow potting mix in here. Uh, since I'm going to give it a good rinse afterwards, so I, I don't worry about, um, I don't worry about mixing them with water right now. I will just put them in my pot. Okay, I just filled my pot. Now I'll take this little baby cuttings into the pot. going to uh, give it a good rinse, um, let the water drip out, and uh, when I see water in saucer, which means 
it completely drained the soil, um, then you can just move it closer to a window and let it grow. Alright, thank you so much guys for watching my video. If you have any questions, please comment below and let me know. And if you have other um, ideas or the way you propagate or divide your snake plant, please also let me know. And if I did anything wrong, uh, please, please, please write it down so I won't make the same mistake. And uh, if you like my video, please subscribe and give it a thumbs up. Maybe I'll post more videos um, about plants and uh, maybe do an apartment tour about the plants I have in my apartment. Thank you so much. Love you guys. Bye. Say bye, baby. Oh, oh, oh. camera shy. Sorry. Bye.